Welcome to our third videotape, Advanced Peach Flower Fist Form. This is a two-man set, and we teach this to our advanced students. What you'll see here are a combination of uh, the mantis techniques that we utilized in the previous two series. This tape is taught by doing the form together, and then you'll see instruction uh, on each person doing their individual forms in reverse angles and in regular angles, at regular speed, and at slow speed. Two-man sets are designed to develop uh, precision and accuracy, uh, timing, uh, distance when dealing with an opponent. Usually, uh, two-man sets are taught uh, before a student uh, progresses to uh, total freestyle fighting. And this is done in a more controlled setting, uh, developing uh, conditioning in the arms and then the legs developing timing so as not to uh, hurt your opponent in a training situation. We're going to begin with some basic warm-up uh, stretches and exercises. First one is wrist shaking and this one includes involves just loosening up the wrist to prepare ourselves for different wrist techniques, wrist locking, uh, grabbing and punching. In this posture we're going to keep the wrist, arms, shoulders relaxed and just focus on uh, the task at hand uh, and getting the mind prepared and just shaking the wrist back and forth. Next, next stretching exercise is the arm shaking, and this is to help increase circulation and, and chi blood flow to the arms and fingertips, and just gently, nice and relaxed, shake the arms up and down, up and down. The arms are moving in a forward and backward continuous motion, nice and relaxed. Then you move continuously into a, a shoulder rotation, moving the arms backwards. This is to loosen the shoulders in preparation for punching, blocking, and striking. Alternating direction, moving the arms forward. Arms are crossing, moving the shoulders nice and relaxed. Waist stretching to the left, waist stretching to the right. The waist uh, movements are a very important part of martial arts. We want to stretch this out so as to involve uh, improved flexibility in our movements, so not to injure our back.
next way stretch is more of a on a horizontal plane, moving to the left and using the elbows as a guide, and then stretching to the right using the elbows as a guide. If you notice on Sifu Lee Cam Wing's uh, uniform, there is a uh, patch, there is the Ching Wu patch. Uh, as you know, the Ching Wu Athletic Association in Hong Kong is uh, one of the major centers of uh, martial arts promotion, uh, martial arts uh, centers and training facilities in, in Hong Kong and uh, is, is a, spread, a source of spreading the martial arts throughout the world. Uh, Sifu Lee Cam Wing serves as uh, the vice president of the Qingwu Athletic Association in Hong Kong. Next exercise here is the hip stretch. We want to rotate the hips in an inward, then outward fashion, alternating between the left and right leg. Again, keeping hips nice and relaxed. Next stretch is the ankle stretch and placing the toe on the ground, uh, rotating clockwise. Then changing to the left foot, rotating clockwise. You want to move in this nice circular fashion so as to loosen up the ankle and also the knee joints. In this stretch, we want to place the hands on the knees, gently rotating to the right and then to the left, clockwise and then counterclockwise. This is a side stretch, stretching to the right so as to stretch out the groin muscles. You should feel a nice gentle pull in the groin area. Alternate to the left. Also stretching out your quadricep muscles, your thigh muscles. Gently pulling on the ankles and pulling back so that you feel that stretch in the anterior part of your thigh. As in any martial arts style, the uh, different stances form the foundation of the style. What Master Lee is demonstrating here is the Ma Bo, also known as the horse dance. The left sided and the right sided. <clears throat> However, the uh, motion here is a symmetrical uh, motion in terms of balance is evenly distributed 50% uh, to the left and also 50% to the right. The next stance is Dan San Bo, the left side. 70% of the weight is distributed to the front leg, whereas 30% is distributed to the rear leg. And you see 30, uh, the, the rear leg is not totally straight, probably about 10 degrees in flexion. Okay. This is also known as the hill climbing stance, also known as Dan San Bo. The next stance is seven star stance, Chut Sing Bo. The weight is distributed 80 to 90% in the rear leg, 10% in the front leg. Notice that the, front, the point of contact to the ground is the left heel. Again, this is the seven star stance, Chut Sing Bo. The next stance we'll demonstrate is Tan Ta Bo, also known as collapsing stance. Here, the right leg is extended. Uh, the rear leg carries, again, 80% 80, 80 of the weight. The right uh, leg carries about 20% of the weight. The, alternatively, on the other side, uh, the Tan Tap Bo, again, you know, it's known as collapsing stance. 80% of the weight is on the right leg, 10%, eight, uh, about 20% on the left leg. The next stance is what we call the circle entering stance, which is Yat Wan Bo. Left side. In this stance, 
the right knee is placed close in contact with the left ankle. <clears throat> that was the, le the left circle entering stance. The right circle entering stance involves uh, flexion of the knee to about 90 degrees, the left knee uh, contacting or slightly touching the right ankle. The next stance is Gua Fu Bo, tiger riding stance. Here, 90% of the weight is distributed in the rear leg and 10% in the front leg. Again, Gua Fu Bo. This stance enables easy kicking uh, and different transitions as in retreating and advancing. Next stance would be Lao Ma Bo, which is the cross leg stance. Here involves a twisting motion of the torso, uh, the left knee touching the posterior aspect of the right knee, and also the other side, Lao Ma Bo. This action is used in twisting uh, and generating power uh, in offensive and defensive fashion. And the last basic of the horse stances is the Yun Hao Bo. It's a monkey stance. Here the weight is actually distributed uh, quite uh, centrally uh, with the rear leg and the front leg slightly flexed. This technique, uh, this stance is used in several techniques in which involves grabbing and different transitional movements that we'll see later on in our future tapes. Now, if you've already learned your basic stances, the next step are utilizing the stances and what we call stance drills and in, in, including movement. I feel like this is a very extremely important drill and so does Sifu Lee uh, to develop uh, dexterity and movement and your footwork. You'll see different stances involved with the horse stance and now is the forward stance moving forward and backwards. This is the tiger riding stance moving backwards, retreating, shifting the leg backwards and forwards. The stance drill, horse stance drill, shifting to the right and also to the left involving elbow strikes. It's nice to practice this drill up and down the floor of your school. Next stance drill is the forward stance. Involving a right upward block and a reverse punch. Alternating between the left and right arms. Tiger riding stance, retreating in a ready position. As you practice more and more, you'll feel more comfortable in movements, moving forward and backwards. Getting used to the timing will be very important. In the 7-star system, there are also uh, some basic kicks that we need to uh, be familiar with. This kick is called Bai Mun Tui, meaning door shutting kick. In this posture, Master Li lifts up the right knee and extends out his right leg in a snapping motion. In other circles, uh, this is also known as a roundhouse kick. You want to lift the lead leg lifting up the knee and the lead leg and executing a snapping motion at a 45 degree angle making contact to your target. Next kick is called Sub Chi Tui and it's the cross kick. You want to lift up the right knee or the lead leg knee and snap out the kick. Making contact with the instep of your foot onto your target, which is usually the groin area. When you practice these kicks, you want to alternate right and left. This next kick is called jatwe, meaning leg bumping kick. It's also known as a shin kick, uh, lifting up the right knee 
shooting the leg straight out, making contact with the heel and the inside of the foot. Again, we're using the, the rear leg, not the lead leg in this kick, and it shoots straight out. This is the 12 keyword formula as interpreted by Sifu Lee Kam Wing. Uh, these 12 concepts are in, seen in the different variants forms of the seven star praying mantis system. Uh, these are basically your building blocks to develop good fighting skills uh, in the seven star mantis system. First element is ao, meaning hook. Lao, grab. Choi, meaning pluck. And we add a punch as an ending element. Gua, meaning upward block. Dew, intercept with a mantis hook. Bung, meaning back fist. Jim Ling, meaning making contact and cling as so as to stick to your opponent. Dip, meaning tag. Gao, meaning lean onto your opponent. Shim, meaning dodge. Tangla, meaning to bounce. The next is variations of the mantis hook of the dew that we've already covered. And uh, this involves making uh, a mantis hook with the last three fingers, pulling in the three fingers tightly, supporting the forefinger the index finger with the thumb. You want to do this exercise to develop forearm strength. This is a double mantis hook in a horse stance with a pulling action. This, is, this posture is the double mantis hook in a seven star stance. Notice that the rear mantis hook is at Sifu Lee's shoulder level. This is a mantis hook with a counter intercepting hook. The left hand is placed on the right wrist. Here we see Je uh, Sifu Jeff Bruflot performing his section of Peach Flower Fist.
This form involves a lot of hopping into forward and retreating uh, motions. Wonderful to develop footwork. A lot of banging going on with the arms and this helps develop conditioning and strength, hardness and firmness in the arms. Now we'll see the form uh, with Sifu John Chang doing the peach flower fist. Lots of intricate hand movements for close combat we see here in peach flower fist. We see some hard techniques as well as soft techniques, utilizing the opponent's energy against him.
we're going to see some highlighting movements from Tofasan, Peach Flower Fist. Notice the handwork is nice and slow uh, being demonstrated. When performed, this should be performed quickly. These are a series of pairing movements. The parry is a double arm parry pushing up. These are hard blocks with hook, grab, palm strike. Parry down, knocking the arm out of the way, kicking. And the opponent reverses this technique. Kicking and block. This one involves a double parry, double punch. Double block to the, to the leg. Notice the sweeping action. Practice slowly, then develop your speed and coordination and accuracy. Sweep from the rear leg, hop over, sweep again. Here's a highlighted movement of the double parry single punch. You want to parry at the wrist and at the elbow, moving in using your waist with the punch to the ribs. This is one version of this parry. There's a hook on the top and a hook from the bottom. This version demonstrates the hooking on the top. There's another version that demonstrates hooking from the bottom of the wrist. demonstrate single applications of the hook grab palm strike. These are isolated techniques taken from the form at regular speed. Hook grab palm strike against a uh, incoming punch. This technique is called Mantis Offers the Peach. You want to parry the energy upward from the strike. Uh, point of contact is the wrist and the elbow, and simultaneously executing a right cross kick.
or also a, known as a lifting kick to the groin. Double parry up and lift up kick to the groin. Here we'll demonstrate the cross kick against a punch and executing a reverse punch, pulling down the hand, executing a palm strike to the face and a cross kick to the groin simultaneously. The Mantis system is known for aiming high and attacking low so as to deceive the opponent that the uh, fake attack is up high but the real attack is down low. The fake is to the face, but the real attack is down low. This te next technique is actually a demonstration of the usage of the roundhouse kick, followed by a straight punch into the opponent's rib midsection. We also see a defense against the roundhouse with the double parry. See if Jeff Ruflot util utilizes a roundhouse kick. See if John Chang does a double parry to move away and deflect the energy of the roundhouse kick. However, he receives a punch to the midsection. Now we'll demonstrate some advanced training drills. This is called Jim Lim, meaning to make contact and stick. And this is practiced uh, with two people. Uh, Sifu Jeff Bruflot uh, utilizes the mantis hooking techniques to pull down the opponent's arm so as to stick and make contact and then utilizes a spear hand through the to the opponent's midsection. This is initially practiced slowly and eventually sped up to develop speed and coordination. The defender is utilizing the upward gua to block against his strikes. Now we will see the demonstration of the wrist lock drill. This is a nice little drill to develop wrist strength and punching power. Now we'll demonstrate some partner training drills. This is the single mantis hooking drill, developing wrist strength, forearm strength, plucking strength. Alternating back and forth with your opponent, with your partner. You want to practice on the right hand side, and then you can alternate to the left hand as well.
in Kung Fu you want to be well versed on both sides of your body in case something were to happen or if the attack comes from the uh, opposite direction opposite side then you'll be more comfortable in defending the attack next drill is hook grab pluck drill and we see Sifu Li uh, utilizing the outside gate and Sifu Chang uh, utilizing the inside gate. Hook, grab, pluck, punch. Hook, grab, pluck, punch. This is practiced slowly and then eventually the speed is built up. Next drill is called Qin Si Sao, double wrist wrapping. We've seen this in previous tapes, but uh, the emphasis is uh, placed on the waist movement and also the wrist locking to develop strength and flexibility in the strength in the wrist again in your training you want to alternate sides This also helps develop stability in your stance work, knowing that someone is pulling and tugging. This helps you to get rooted in your stance. This is the peach flower drill. Hook, grab, palm strike. Parry the attack down with a kick. This drill works on developing quick footwork and quick kicking skills. This next drill is the sweeping drill. The foot should stay on the surface of the floor. The pivoting should be on the ball, the supporting foot. And next is the tornado kick drill, developing flexibility and agility in performing the tornado kick. Since 1984, INI Sports has featured the largest selection of paintball equipment, 
martial arts supplies, boxing gear, and custom knives. And with discounts from 10 to 60% off, there's no reason to shop anywhere else. So stop by or call us today. Visit any of our three Southern California locations seven days a week with stores to serve you in West L.A., City of Industry, and Carson, or call 310-715-6800. INI Sports, we've got what you need.